would imagine that this film is probably unlike anything you've done before as an actor. Is that true? Yeah, every movie is a custom job, you know. I think every movie, you kind of have to find a way to do it, and, you know, find a way to bring the director's vision to life. And sort of like a custom tailoring job, the script is one idea, and then you get there and you're like, okay, how do we make all this work? So, I mean, I like to think that every movie I've done is 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 unique, but uh, yeah, this is definitely this is definitely one of the more unique ones, I'd say. Why was that appealing to you? This kind of a opening a new present, if you will. I loved Yorgos' previous work. I'd seen Dogtooth in the cinema, and I'd seen Alps, and so when I heard that he was doing his first English language film, I, yeah, I was kind of fascinated to see how his um, cinematic language or his own psychology as a filmmaker that played out so beautifully in both those films, which were in the Greek language, was going to translate to English, and there was no really, didn't feel like there was a translation or there was no awkwardness. It was just as specific and as beautiful as, as anything I'd, I'd ever read, and, and more specific and more beautiful than most things. I thought it was really fascinating that it's so unique and unusual and dark and disturbing at times. And then ultimately, I found it was about love. Sweet, isn't it? By yeah. The end? yeah, ultimately, a it was about story. love and romance. Yeah. Was that, that also the, the whole thing? I found it there? surprisingly moving, yeah, by the end of the script. I mean, I did spend the first, you know, 60 pages, 70 pages kind of scratching my head a little bit and trying to keep up with the rules of this, of this world that was presented. And then by the end of it, I just found it, yeah, ultimately a more a more human story than I, you know, I may have given the credit to at the beginning. I, I was scratching my head too, and then I just let myself go. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you just let. I think go. people, younger people, are really taking to the movie because I think they're recognizing their own struggles right, right in the midst mm -hmm. of trying to figure out what they want out of a relationship and all that. And people who have been in relationships for a long time are looking at what the, you know the themes that the movie touches on, like what is love. You know, we say. When we're younger, we I love you, and it's all these. It's a combination of all these things. And as you get older, you're like, now what did I mean by that again? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I know I still say I love this person, but what does it mean now? Like, mm -hmm. uh, so the movie looks at all that, and I think it's and it's also very funny at the same time. It is funny too. How how do you describe the film for someone who hasn't seen it? Is there a way to do that in a nutshell? I don't know. It's a story that's set in a in a non-defined future. Um, I've heard it referred to as science fiction because there is this sci-fi element where if you're alone in the world, if you have no partner to share your life with, that's been outlawed. So you're sent to a place that's called a hotel because it is a hotel and you have 45 days to find a partner. If you don't find the partner within 45 days, you get taken to the transformation room and turned into an animal of your choosing and sent out into the wild. So, And down out in the wild, there's a bunch of people who are kind of anti-authoritarian called the loners and they have uh, you know relinquished any desire or you know to be part of the the social structure that the hotel represents so clearly and they live in the forest on their own they meet every now and then for dances but they don't dance together they dance alone kissing flirting all that kind of stuff is outlawed so and they're they're place is supposed to be kind of a haven for anyone that lives in the hotel. Some people dream of that. Mike Carter escapes to the forest to be with the loners, but that shows itself to be as corrupt a kind of a social structure as, as what he had escaped from. It's a very normal kind of movie, except for one phrase in the middle of that description, which is the transformation of animals to be turned into <laughs> yeah, an yeah, animal yeah. of your choosing. Other Otherwise, that, it's pretty a... much like the world we live in today. <laughs>